The Lagos State Governor, Baba Jude Sawolu, has inaugurated the newly upgraded Adenija Dele and Tapa Street Road in Lagos Island East Local Council Development Area for better connectivity on the island. Take a look. Lagos Island is agog as Governor Babajide Sonwolu commissions the dualized Adeniji Adeli Road and the rehabilitated Takwa Street in Lagos Island East Local Council Development Area. <laughs> Governor Sonwolu and his team hand over the roads to residents of Lagos Island who are excited to see him perform this task. Completion of these projects will bring relief to the residents as the dual semi-rigid pavement carriageway will put an end to perennial flooding and provide easy access to the new Massey Children's Hospital along the road. Residents believe it's a job well done. I want to especially thank the Governor of Lagos State for bringing light as a testimony for the people that spoke during the documentary to Adeni Jadili. Tapa Street and Okipopo. And on behalf of the good people of Lagos Island East, we we'll continue to say thank you. And as Oliver Tusa, we need Rapid Development Oshodi to Kumbo Street as well and Igoshiri. Those are the critical areas on the island that is clamoring for more development, sir. For the governor, the strategic road will create better connectivity on the island. I'm happy that today we're handing over this strategic road to this community. And I'm also happy that our citizens can see that the construction of the new Massey Children's Hospital is also ongoing. Some part of it are on the seventh floor, while some part of it are coming out on the second and third floor. So it means that all of our promises, we are promise keeper, and we continue to do the very best, to do the greatest good for the greatest number. Road construction in Lagos in the past four years, I've seen that we've done intervention in over 1,600 roads. We've added about 141 brand new construction with a total length of close to 700 kilometers. We're happy that we're following our master plan as enshrined on our team's agenda, where we've said that we'll continue and we'll take each piece at one and we'll try and do a complete overhaul and regeneration. We're doing similar road construction that we've handed over in Ikoi, in Victoria Island, in Agege. These are all part of a strategic plan, not just to open up the city, but to be able to improve connectivity and improve a better journey time and enhance commercial and economic value of the state and of the city. And so you can see that the Lagos <coughs> development plan, the Lagos rising, the greater Lagos rising that we talked about is on course and is on target. I want to say to all of us that this kind of road development is a testimonial of our revolve that the very best is what our people require. And that's why Messrs. Jules Baja, one of the best construction companies in the country, are the ones that have handed this road over. And I want to enjoin all of our citizens, please, this road should not be turned into a market. This road should not be turned into a dump site. This road is for vehicular movement, is for pedestrian movement, is to ease traffic from other parts of the Lagos Island and it becomes an access road so that commercial and economic activity can continue to thrive. He assures Lagosians of many more infrastructure development across the state.